Okay, so just going to show you around the H4N real quick. Um, first thing over here, here's one side. Um, main thing over here is going to be to you kind of press and hold that over to the power side, and that's going to turn it on. And then over here, this is where the SD card goes in. Uh, just going to make sure you got something in there. Uh, and then this, uh, this is a menu button and then a scroll wheel, kind of like the old uh, iPods that you'll use to kind of navigate around the menu. Okay, so this H4N is set up in four channel mode. Um, we know that because there is one, two, three, four lines here. Also, all of these are lit up. Um, if it was in two channel mode, you would only see the mic or these two lit up, okay? Also, it's set to record at 4824, which is uh, what I want it set to record to. And then this is 48 volts of phantom power, which means the phantom power is on. Uh, the only other thing on the screen really to note would be over here, here's how much battery you have left, and down here, here's how much time you can record on the SD card. So if you're halfway through the shoot and you notice that's running low, you're going to want to throw another SD card in. So uh, real quickly, let me show you how I got to these settings. So I'm going to hit menu on the side. Um, I'm going to go down to input. Number one thing on input is you want this one, two link to be off. Um, that means like that it would tie these two together. We want them to be uh, independent. Um, level auto on, that's what we're going to be using um, this weekend uh, because we want the levels to just be mixed automatically. We're not going to set the levels. And then phantom right there, 48. You can set it for 24. You don't want that. You want 48 volts of phantom power. Okay, That's it for that screen. Um, you can go into record here and that's what's going to set the 48 by 24. That's what we want. So we'll go back. And the last thing was down here at the very bottom, mode. And that's where we've set it in four channel mode instead of just stereo. So four channel and uh, 4824, these are set up. Other than that, um, you'll just hit record, which will arm it. So it's setting it up. See, it's seeing my voice there on the mic, but not on the inputs because we don't have anything plugged in. Um, but see, this is flashing, so it's not recording yet. Then when you actually hit record again, that's when it rolls. And you know that it's rolling because the time code is moving now. So that's it. And then when you're done, you'll hit stop. It's going to think about it for a second. And it's done. It's ready to go again. And you also know it's ready to go again because it, it will have advanced this number. Now it's saying 000, which is the first recording that it made. So if we hit play right now, it would play that. Record again. That's when it rolls. And you know so and then if we, if we arm it, so I've armed it, it's flashing, and record again. So now we're recording our second file. And we can see that because this is advanced to one. It doesn't start with one. It starts with zero and then goes to one. Um, and you can see there, if I, if I really get on it, then the uh, levels are adjusting. It just did the auto level, which is what we want. Backlight goes off after 15 seconds to keep the battery life low. That's pretty much setting up the H4N. So we're in four channel mode, 48, 24. We've got phantom power on and we are recording. So that's that and we're done. So we'll hit stop. Thanks for watching.